What's up guys, uh, it's been a long time. Uh, right now I wanted to do a, a showcase of the many, I guess, uh, bucket hat collection that I have obtained throughout my three years so far. This is right now we're having an ashram individually. So I'm gonna first start off with the very first hat that I actually obtained. It's this nice um, black bandana uh, kind of style in it. A lot of people told me it looked like a bunch of bacteria cells. This is the very first hat I, I obtained. I forgot which store it was. Um, I obtained it during my sophomore year in college. And this is the first thing I usually rock around and what initially started my collection overall. It's a really, really nice. It fits very well on pretty much on anyone, to be honest. And I usually, I, it goes with every, everything I've worn so far. From there, it was a store, it was Forever 21. We got at least, I want to say six, five or six hats that were all dollar, and that's what started the collection. It started out with this one, it is the globe. This is one of the very first ones, this one is pretty much worn as well. Um, but essentially it's just a picture of the globe um a lot of clouds here you can probably see some continents the hat is a little bit dirty in the inside we we do clean them um this one is a little bit on the rough end however it's really really nice I usually go with something that's blue i usually try to mix match with a lot of these hats uh, another one that i also got was this really uh psychedelic color of kind of Bob Marley reggae influence. It's a mix of green, red, and yellow. Kind of like I wouldn't like kind of like a spat or a tie dye feel to it. This feels really nice. I usually wear this hat with something that's also of equal color, or even when I'm wearing one of my Sublime shirts, t-shirts, it goes really well with the aesthetics of it. So this one's really cool. Probably one of my favorite hats in my in the collection. This one's probably the the one I'm really worried about whenever I'm wearing whenever it's really windy outside, but this is probably the most colorful one in my collection. It's the graffiti, so it has a lot of like graffiti and stencil colors surrounding it. Nothing too, uh, too crazy. Just a lot of graffiti. This one is a little bit on the small side whenever I I wear it, but it feels nice. The only downside is whenever it's windy, it does kind of go up, kind of like a bonnet. But other than that, this is one of the most wicked hats I have in the collection. Next is this one. This is a, I call it my philosophy hat. Since I majored, well not majored, but minor in philosophy. This one is essentially, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's actually a mule, an odd mule. And you usually see some naked people. You know, because they they were like that back then. Uh, it's really uh, stylized, and this one also goes with anything. Primarily, if something like this looks very nice with the t-shirt uh, that goes with this. But yeah, this is also a hat that I wear a lot in school, especially whenever there's a philosophy class I have to take. Is the one of the go-to ones. Another one that I also got was this another very nice spatter. <clears throat> it's another kind of like a tie-dye feel to it primarily red white and blue this is I guess the more patriotic uh, bucket hat that I have in my collection has a nice really nice this one pretty much also goes with a lot of things nothing too shabby now for the other ones that I got over the time to start with this one this one's this is one of my unique ones this was the Horion dope um, I'm supposed to say dope, but like, it's the other way. If you turn it inside out, it's a different style as well. Primarily, it's just tra very tropical-like. But it could be one either way. So, just do it with the regular dope side. This is really one of my favorite ones too. Especially with the... I tend to not turn it inside out. But when I do, it's usually something a little bit more colorful than I'm wearing. A more colorful attire. And this is how it looks. Still looks really nice, but I still prefer the the dope end. 
pretty cool. The this one is the more Valentine ish. Uh, this is the roses. So it's primarily just a bunch of roses with some black highlights in there to 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 for it to really stand out. Inside it is primarily all black, and you still have the the roses surrounding it. So, and then this one feels nice. This one's also a little bit rough because I I worn this a lot. So it's a little bit on the rough edge, but again, it's really nice, especially if you're going on a date, it's really nice. Um, let's start with this one. This one was given to me by a friend. He who got this hat at a, uh, was it Forever, Forever 21 or Route 21? Anyways, he got this one. This is a very small bucket. I, it's, normally these are supposed to fit for everyone. It fits. It's an all size fits all. However, this one is my least favorite. Bec one of my least favorites because it's really small. I feel I feel like this is more for a for a female to wear this one. This one still is really nice. It has like a. It's really abstract. I really like the aqua color to it and the the triangular patterns that it has. However, um, my friend didn't really like the way it looked on him, so he get, he passed it on to me. It looked it looked okay on me, but it, it made my head look a bit a bit big because how small it is. So I don't tend to wear this all the time. Next one we have this one was the it's probably the most expensive one I got. It's a a puma, it has a lot of primarily just fire, and then we see try to find the the puma logo right here. This is a really obscure hat because whenever I put it on. Like I said, I like the style, but it always seems to crumple up. It doesn't. It doesn't stay straight. So I don't wear this hat a lot, primarily for the reason. Even though I do like the style of it, this was I would say probably like between twenty, maybe ten dollars. Whenever I found it at a, uh, ah, I forgot where, but it was in in a mall in Laredo, and they just had this on stock. I only wish that these ends would have been more, you know, less crooked, less like kind of like a zigzag. But it's 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 all good. Next one, it's a standard. Uh, this one's very cheap from Amazon. Primary just palm trees, all white, and then red primarily, since my that's primarily my favorite color. This one's a little bit weird because sometimes the material in the back kind of pulls on the back of my hair whenever it's really long. So it kind of it kind of stings whenever I take it off, or but still pretty good. Now the these are the more latest ones I got. So I got two of these for Christmas. This one um, is very tropical. Some it looked like flamingos when I first saw them, but these are just some yellow flowers and some plants in the background. Really cool looking. This is a lodge. This one is really nice, especially for hot days, but this one looks like this is one of the bigger sizes of my collection. And then the second one I also got for Christmas. This was a little bit more on the feminine side, but I do like the pink aesthetics. It's apparently just a also a bunch of flowers. This one is uh, purple, pink, and of course some leaves in there, but this is... I usually wear this where I have like some something from American Eagle that has like a, li uh, a light pink to it. And then the inside, and these nice uh, edges right here. This is also one of the bigger ones I have. Very similar to the to this one. They're, I think they're in the same brand. Really nice. And lastly, I got this hat today. This was it was cheap. This was a little bit has a kind of a dull color to it, but I do like the style. It's a a black and gray hat, a uh, bucket hat. This one looks really nice. I think it has a, it's a similar, uh, same brand as the the very first one that I got. And also has a very similar same feel. It's really nice. Um, has a, like kind of a like a static uh, design to it. My mother also loves this one. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm still I'm still waiting on one other additional hat, which is supposed to be more. Um, a more and also another tropical one, but it's a little bit on the um, little minimalistic side to it. So 
currently it's 14 hats I have and then with the additional one it should be 15 in total um, could have gotten another one of some time but this is all I got right now so let me just do a quick recap so yeah, this is a recap of all the hats that I have can't believe that it has grown so much for the past three years Hopefully we get hopefully get more. And yeah. I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh this was something that a lot of friends usually ask me, like, how many hats do you have in your collection? And you wear so many. And I was like, and I always tell them like I have this much, but it's kinda hard to, to keep track of all of them. So yeah, I just wanted to just to update. If I ever get more hats, I'll I can update the collection whenever I get the chance. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a nice day. See ya.